more relaxed than I've been in like a year, I think. This is my relaxed version. Lots of people backstage right now. You just watched Anderson versus Chris Weidman. Um, a lot of fans didn't get to hear what you were saying because the crowd wasn't exactly in your corner this fight. Um, was that surprising to you? Oh, no, not at all. I, um, one of the things I was saying was, um, you know, when I was doing judo, I, I didn't know what a cheer was. I traveled to 30 different countries and I got booed in every single one of them. And uh, the cheers are what's new. And uh, I, I took the, the nickname Rowdy after Rowdy Roddy Piper because I love the heels. You know, I, who, uh, it matters to me that the crowd is loud. It doesn't really matter what they're saying. And um, what I really said was, you know, I, I respect Misha very much as a competitor, as a fighter. She's amazing. But um, family comes first to me even before cheers. And um, once you insult and do wrong against my family, I, I can't shake your hand. I can't shake the hand of someone who spits on my back. I can respect you for what you do in your job and career, but um, shaking someone's hand, it's, uh, it means something to me, and not everybody can have my handshake. How did it feel to go out of that first round? Um, did you prove something to yourself that you could continue to go out of that first round where people really haven't seen you? Yeah, I, um, one of my major problems I'm fighting is, is I'm kind of in a, in, a, in a rush, like I'm in a hurry. Um, in judo, I only have five minutes. So I'm not used to having 25 minutes, and I, I really feel like that by the third round I was really finding my patience and taking my time, and that's when um, I, I was able to really place a shot that rocked her instead of just hurt her. And so, um, yeah, I really feel like I, even though it's really cool to do all the first round thing, I feel like I'm, I'm more developed and mature as a mixed martial artist because um, it, you can't recreate that in the gym. And so I really needed to experience it for myself and, um, and know that I could rise to the occasion in those kind of situations and uh, know that... I can be patient and I don't have to do it in the first round and that way I can afford to make fewer mistakes and so um, yeah um, as my mom says it's much better to learn from a win than learn from a loss. You proved that you could take a punch but you also proved that you have great stand-up and you kept letting her up. Did you want to prove something to yourself and to fans that hey you're not just a, a one-trick pony per se? Um, you know what I was just every situation I was judging case by case and um, I know that she'd been working a lot on um, and counting on me being in a rush to get to the ground and um, trying to get pack back position. So I, uh, in certain situations, I, I decided not to play into her game plan and uh, kind of surprise her a little bit. And um, and yeah, so I wanted to shake it up and have her not know for sure if I was going to jump on her guard or not. Did um, were you surprised that she could get out of that first arm bar? To a lot of us watching, it looked like a she was going to tap, but then she rolled out. Where, did that surprise you at all? Um, well, my one leg was, wasn't was over the head, and so um, it wasn't a perfect armbar, just like the first time we fought. The first armbar I did, it, it wasn't perfectly in, and so um, it, it's kind of a scramble to finish it, and she'd been passing that position a lot, and so um, she scrambled really, really well, um, and uh, my, my coach was telling me that I needed to soften her up standing to make the ground easier, and that's when I really kind of learned that patience. In the third round, I took the patience of my standing, and then you know, took my time on the ground instead of trying to rush through all of it. And so I really feel like um, it's just helped me a lot as, as it, just as a whole. So, yeah, that was great. Did you come out unscathed for the most part? Because there's a lot of people who are really looking forward to seeing you fight again. Yeah, yeah, I could fight right now, again. You know, I'm used to doing several matches in a day. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I've taken, like, zero damage in this fight. I feel fine. I think I scratched my eye on the, on the Velcro. Um, a little bit, but um, other than that, I felt cool. I was much worse off after the Liz Carmouche fight. She dislocated my jaw, and I couldn't smile right for like.